everybody, it's Kaylin here at Full Purpose and Heart coming at you today with another look in the book video. And in this video, we're going to looking be looking into a resource for math. This is a really great supplemental resource that you can add to any math curriculum that you've chosen. I have found in our homeschool that sometimes my students need um, additional resources, something different that they can practice their math skills with. And especially I've had like one or two things that we've really wanted to fine tune. If you've been watching my channel at all, then you'll know my son really struggled with money for a long time. And we had a little stint where we couldn't um, solidify time very well. So anyway, those different types of moments come in your homeschool and sometimes you wanna have an additional resource that will just give that little additional practice with a different font or illustrations or something. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. And this resource comes from Evan Moore. It's the Evan Moore Math Fundamentals Resource. And this is something that's just chuck full of practice and model pages that you can use in your classroom to teach your kids one or two or lots of different math concepts that can sometimes be a little bit struggling to get a hold of. So the one that I have here is for grade two. My son is going into second grade, but they have more than just one grade level. Um, they actually go from grade one through grade six and these are available at evanmore.com they're really affordable and I actually really like that another option you can go into is if you're looking for a math curriculum for the upcoming school year, Evan Moore does um, homeschool curriculum bundles where, where they will take several of their products that they have and bundle them together to create either a subject curriculum for you. So if you just wanted math or just wanted critical thinking or English or anything like that, then you could buy several of their products bundled together and save yourself like 30%. Um, or if you want to get your whole student's entire curriculum from Evan Moore, then you can do that as well. And they have grade specific bundles. So I would highly encourage you to look into that. I have suited most of my homeschool with Evan Moore products because I really think that they are easy to understand. They're easily digestible. They break them down. They've got, you know, the daily activities where you can do one every day and just small little morsels. They've got full page worksheets that you can do like this. So lots of of really great stuff from Evan Moore. I would encourage you to go check them out over there if you haven't done so already. So let's check out this resource in this video. If you're interested in this content, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, my friends, we're gonna look into this book a little bit closer so that you can see if this is something that you wanna consider bringing into your homeschool. This is aligned with the um, state standards, so the common core standards and the state standards, so it's really great if you're trying to um, align your teaching with whatever your state is requiring, so that's really great. Um, these are gonna be the concepts that you're going to be discussing, so place value, addition and subtraction, skip counting, length, time, and money, attributes of shapes, and then data displays. And I'm going to show you the table of contents here as well. So you'll be able to look a little deep, deeper into it. And as I mentioned, we are in grade two coming up. So that's the product that I've got. Um, but they have grades one through grade six. Okay. Now let me show you how this is laid out. This is not a resource that is laid out for you to teach from page one all the way to page 109 or 86, okay? This is something where you can bounce around and use the pages that are benefiting your student the best. So there may be times where you're like, oh, guess what? We don't need to practice solving word problems. My student understands that really well, but we're having some struggle with time and money, so we're gonna start over here on page 129, okay? So that's how this book is intended to be used. And in that sense, it's a really Really great complement for any curriculum in math that you've selected. So for those of you who follow my homeschool channel, then you'll know that we use Horizons for our math curriculum. And this is a really great complement to that because it helps teach different concepts in depth, um, just as a little different perspective and a different strategy. Okay, so let me show you how this book is laid out for you. Okay, let me turn a couple pages here. So let me show you through the solving the word problems. The first thing that it's gonna show you is this is what the contents of the unit is going to have. So the first one's going to show how to solve one step word problems, the second one two step, and then combining one and two step word problems, okay? With each 
little concept here. There's gonna be a math models page, and I'll show you that in just a second. This is going to show how to do the problem, kind of like a teaching page that the teacher or you and your student can go through together. Two practice pages in this particular one, and then a problem solving activity. Now this isn't an activity that you like have manipulatives and do something fun. This is kind of like a real world problem that you can give your student. Um, as these are kind of graduating in difficulty, the problem solving activity would be the culminating activity to see if your student has improved in their ability to master the concept, okay? So let me show you what that means. In this particular unit, we have the math model is a one um, step word problem. So this is something that you would do with your student and you can use any manipulatives that you already have on hand, but you want to go through each of these steps with your student as well as this think and compare part at the, at the bottom. You don't want to miss this step because this is going to help your student verbalize what it is that they're learning and how they're actually going to complete the problem. I think oftentimes we skip this part because we just think it's math, but when we explain why we're doing things, sometimes that helps our student kind of click and it, they understand the concept a little bit better. Um, down here on the very bottom, I'll just point that out. For those of you who have state standards that you need to meet or prove that you're teaching, this book does show where it is aligned with all of the common core standards, okay? So anyway, you go through this math models page with your student as many times as you need to, once with you, once without you, that sort of thing. And then you move them over here to page one or word problems and set one and you kind of try to get them to do it on their own. Now the first page will always have an example on the top, so this will show your student how they do the problem with this example. And then this one has two separate problems that they can practice, and they have this example that they can go back to. So you can give them a little bit of independence and just um, watch them a little bit, but try to get them to practice it on their own. As you go on to the second page, you'll notice here this is solving problems number two, it doesn't have that example on the top and it has three questions that your student's going to try to answer. So they are still encouraging to encouraging the student to draw a picture or the model and write the number sentence for the, the problem that they need to solve and then solve the problem. So they're still trying to teach this three steps, but they don't have the example on the top. And then this one over here is going to be your word problems, um, like real world example. So this is where your student's going to need to go through the whole thing on their own and you can test to see if they're understanding the concept by themselves, okay? So for this particular unit, they've got the three graduating levels of difficulty. You practice it once with them and then this is, you know, easy, medium, hard, you could say, giving them that practice that they need to work through the problem on their own. You turn the page here and you're immediately into the second portion of the unit, which is going to be two-step problems. And now you're gonna work through the problem on your own with the kid, give your student this one as an example, and then they do it themselves. This one, they do it themselves, and then this is your solve world problems page where they can solve a two-step word problem, hopefully on their own. It's kind of more of a real world problem, although I'm not sure how many of us <laughs> are herding cattle, but they do say it is real world, okay? The last one here is going to be how can you decide if it's going to be a one or two step problem to solve. So this resource is really helpful because you can bounce around and practice with your student and then give them graduating levels of difficulty. You can use it with your curriculum that you're using and it will pace really nicely with whatever the skill is that your student is learning. Um, coming over here, just kind of as a brief look, this is add and subtract within 20. So if your student's having some problems or some struggles with adding and subtracting, then you would turn here to page 25 and you can start the same types of patterns, okay? So this would be the model page. This is going to be your um, example and then do it yourself pages and it just kind of continues from that. Now before I thumb through the rest of this book as I like to do on my look in the books, I want to come over here to the front again and show you the table of contents and what it is that we're going to be looking at here a little bit closely. If you want to um, pause this video as we go through here, then you can read through them a little bit more. I'm going to go a little quickly, but um, you'll be able to kind of get an idea of what it is that this includes, okay?
right, really quick, there was one other thing here in the front that I wanted to show you um, that is included in the manual. If you decided that you wanted to use this resource as your entire teaching curriculum, they do give you a little teaching path here that you can use to go through each of the concepts. Instead of, like I said, teaching from page one till the end, they encourage that you start here with page 25 and then go to page 49, page 35. So they have laid this out if in the event you want to purchase it and use it as your teaching curriculum or if you want to add it to some of their other supplements that they have um, which would be like the skills sharpeners or an at-home tutor um, resource they've got a lot of really good maybe your daily math type thing so Evan Moore has a really great program that they just have some really great resources available for us who are homeschoolers. So anyway, this is Math Fundamentals Grade 2. Again, they do go up through Grade 5, if you're or Grade 6 rather, if you're looking for something like this to help practice a little bit more some of those math concepts that are a little tricky. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video, and we hope to catch you again soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.